gift of covering let us celebrate him for what he is doing what he has done and what he will not stop doing let's open our mouth and appreciate him Yahweh father we thank you father we thank you in the name of Jesus I want us to please join me celebrate God for his choice servant our beloved highly esteemed father and mother in the Lord for continually pouring out themselves on us so we can make progress indeed let's celebrate God for God's own general the restoration apostle thank you daddy for the privilege thank you sir hallelujah I want to celebrate every man and woman of God in this place using God's servant our senior man of God Dr. Kingsley to say thank you all for believing in this grace and always standing firm for that which God is doing in this commission I often say to people if I'm permitted if your house is along the road you can't judge your lovers by your visitors but when your house is far and they have some relative impediment you can judge your true lovers by your visitors and I often say to people who suddenly wants to see him in Lagos that show him that you believe in what you are looking for by traveling to meet him and I discovered that only one or five percent we embark on the journey for destiny but the truth is that if you truly look for solution there is no distance we are Dr. Kingsley ministry one of the times said no location is far power no location is too far where power is present am I talking to someone here whether you like it or yes it takes hours it takes money to travel to certain nations on vacation because it's a destination where you will probably do and buy you agree with me that this place is not far there are people in lagos that ouchie is very close to than lagos my address no i don't know if i'm speaking here so i began to find out what makes ouchie close to many people than lagos my address and i discovered that there is something in the headquarters that you can't find in the boys quarter oh god <laughs> can we celebrate god for ourselves for what he's doing in this place life is sweet life is sweet when you understand that we were born to complement ourselves we are not in competition as it were we are in complementation life is like sitting on a meal table on the table you have the cutleries you have the serving dish the serving spoon you have the eating spoon you have the fork you have the knife there is a time where the need for knife comes the fork looks useless because there is no need for the fork at that time but after the food has been taken to the plate and the knife has done the cutting knife can't do the picking at that time they will drop the knife and pick the fork stop stop trying to fight over who is being used just wait for your time for time and chance happen not to die we are going to cry to god this morning father in this encounter in this meeting let me find the key for my next level let's open our mouth in the name of jesus my father my maker as i pray this morning lord in this conference let me find the key to my next level open your mouth and turn it in prayers
When I say find the key, I'm just talking, man of God, there is a way to do it. There is a way to do it. He said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. He said, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He said, my ways are not your ways. And Moses had an encounter with God. The first thing he will ask, Lord, show me your way. Before he now said, Lord, show me your glory. Church, there is a way to the glory. What is happening here? There is a way to it. Not all way lead to the market. I don't know if I'm speaking to somebody here. Father, in this conference, show me the way. I want to know the way. In the teachings, in the jokes, in the jokes, in everything that will happen here. Lord, open my eye, open my ear. I want to find the way. Open your mouth and cry to God. Lord, in this conference, show me the way. 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 Kabana na koshada barate. He kroko to loko to. Se palata likre kete lekete. Roto to 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 koloko to paroto. Lord, show me the way. Father, show me the way. In Jesus precious name. Amen. We have come this way. Because we desire to know the way. There is a way. What is working is not just working. Somebody found a way to make it work. And we have come. I, I don't need the burning bush. I want to meet a man who has met with the burning bush. So I can go back. And also keep burning. Joshua did not see the burning bush. He only met a Moses who met the burning bush. And Joshua began to burn. Lord, show me the way. How is it working? Success cannot be totally judged. By certain things because if the factors that favor you favor another person what will become of the person with this location every time I come here one cry I cry father help me at all at all 10% 10% 10% we cannot be so favored by location and still we don't have a location am I speaking to someone here I stand as an extension of an apostolic and a prophetic grace I make this bold statement today upon all of us we are leaving this conference a better proof providers I don't know how to say it but I sense by the hand of God that of your cities shall begin to emerge in our ministries of your cities shall begin to emerge in our ministry in the name of jesus father thank you i just want to pray this second prayer and i make a statement as i'm permitted lift your right hand to heaven men and women of god fathers and mothers in the lord lift those hands somebody say oh lord Anyway, anyway, my message is my problem. Father, correct my tongue. Jesus battles began somehow when he began to preach. I will destroy this temple. I will rebuild it in three days. And the people said, he blasphemed. There are some of us today, the problem of our ministry is our message. Every messenger has a message. A young man went to preach like Papa, and what he got, he cannot explain. He was even talking against local government chairman. 
and they dare to him. The question is, was that your message? John the Baptist was preaching woe, and nations were coming to hear him because it was his message. When you copy that message, you may lose members. When my message is my problem. A great man of God was preaching and he said, nothing they happen, no shaking. The God of his name, so he said, is alive, nothing happened. If anything happened here, know that my God has, his God has left him. And then his praise leader died in childbearing. And the church half. He fell half before they recovered the other half, half. Because the people said, obviously his God has left him. What was his problem? His message. I can't forget the year I copied the message I preached on <laughs> when uh, all questions only God can answer. And then I finished preaching not too long. I loved whether my father or my mother. After doing Friday giveaway, Saturday, Sunday, my father had been my mother. One of them died. And then I heard my members preaching my message. This is the true meaning of the question. Only God can answer. Because with everything doctor has done, why will God still allow this thing happen to him? The, the question, only God can answer. When you are saying it, be sure that he sent you. Because he will only back what he says. You know, we can be emotional and be exciting. And we start making strong statements. It is time that proves your declaration. Time. There are some pastors that can grow a church. They will have a glorious church for two years. After two years is crisis. Have you asked yourself why? Because in those early years, the true word. Some men watch the word. After two years, no result. They started taking another decision. Lift your right hand to heaven. Lord, help my mouth. In this conference, Lord, correct my tongue. Lord, let me to say only what you want to say. Man of God, please open your mouth and let's cry to God. Kapalato sapalate. Riko shatala. Menendene kolita. Riko shatala. Leto shakatabara. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please just say hello to somebody by your side and say welcome to Ministers Without Blemish, October edition 2024. Hallelujah. Praise God. So grateful, so privileged to our dynamic mother who we always be there for us. Whether you like it or not, the beauty of any great work can be largely connected to the backings, the pastor to the pastor. God has honored us with a precious mother who will always stand by the father to make us who we are. Join me again to celebrate our dynamic mother, Dr. Lizzie Suleiman. You know, for the sake for the sake of the ministry, the sake of the assignment, I ask myself where she is to where the ministry program is has become sitting room and bedroom. Because when purpose is understood, sacrifice is done without struggle. I, I seen her yesterday, I asked myself what manner of mama is this in the unique side who will always go all out to be here and to be there and you never feed the vacuum let's celebrate god for safe journey celebrate god for the heart hallelujah 
You know, when God blesses you with a wonderful backing in ministry, it to your wife, like our mama is. You, I know you know what God has done for you. Because in counseling, you must have seen many mighty men frustrated by the mistake they made in marriage. One of them is Samson. You remember the man called Samson? Nobody can assess you cheaply if the inside is not in support. If they can get Delilah, if they can get Judas Iscalos, then they can get a man cheaply. But thank God for the surrounding and we give God praise for who she is. All glory to God again. Somebody say thank you Jesus for our mommy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12. Oh God. Hebrews 6 12. He said, Are ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Matthew 14, 4 verse 19, sorry, Matthew 4 19. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. He was speaking to fishermen. He said, I'll make you fishers of men. I just want to share briefly this morning understanding followership followership every one of you must know that some of us are privileged followership and who we are and who we are becoming per day per day is directly connected to the covering who is mighty in words and awesome in deeds there are people who say, follow what I say and not what I do. And that makes followership very complicated. I have heard people speak against mentorship and leadership. Life will be in a state of mm -hmm, mm -hmm, upside down if there were no leaders to lead. When Moses died, God said to Joshua, move now for my servant Moses is there. Imagine an aircraft without a pilot. The life of all the passengers on board, whether 120, 260, 300 and something, depending on the size of the aircraft, I believe is directly connected to two men, if not three, sitting on the cockpit. A bus on the road with 30 passengers at the mercy of one man, the driver. And every one of us must understand that we are here today as leaders of our various congregation whom God has put in charge as the pilot or the driver of the vehicle having a lot of people following you behind. Paul, we often say, not as if this thing is bad, but we can't do it because of the weaker ones in faith. I've often heard Papa said, I have decided to take certain decisions as it were because of all of you. Because for me, God is faithful. And for all of you, I know God is faithful. But can you handle what I can handle? Am I talking to somebody here? And I want to say to us, one of the beauty of leadership is to be considerate, considering that the people behind you are somehow. Yesterday, I was driving down from Benin to this point. And I got to the point, Daddy, I was pressed, and I could maybe hold it. But somehow, I pulled over, and I decided to look for a place to ease myself. And as soon as I came down, everybody on my drive came down and went to ease themselves. And then I said to myself, it means that when a leader is too strong and rigid, it can be detrimental to his weak followers. So there are times you hold strong to certain matters. Imagine the men under me were pressed but can't stop the convoy. So their bladder was in trouble because their leader was too strong. I want us 
to live here with, an with a little understanding from my tutorship, from followership. That there are times you have to take it easy. Because some people following you can't hold it like you can hold it. In followership, I just want us to know that it's not sponsorship. I've heard people say that it's not sponsorship. I have heard people say that eh, highest bidder, highest bidder, highest bidder. Let me say this. Don't be mentored by people who have lost it. There are men who have missed it. Because first, they were part of the problem that God is deciding to correct. And then instead of them to subject themselves to divine correction, they choose to be another part of the problem. By the grace of God, every one of you hearing the sound of our voice here can attest to the fact that what you enjoy is not a product of what you offer. It's a product of the generosity and the magnanimity of the heart of the Father God has given us. It is not as people claim. No, sir. There are positions to take. There are decisions you take. Some of us, what we are is far bigger than what we even think we bring. We only practice covenant to him. Am I speaking to someone here? A man you give one error as a seed and can choose to solve your 100 million error problem as support. Who is, who is doing who? Talk to me now. But the truth is that when people say, my father and the Lord refused to give me money, didn't give me this, it does not hold you money. I wasn't sent to say this, I'm saying it as I'm inspired. Am I talking here? Luke 22, if you read from 35, he said, when I sent you forth to preach without pause, lucky anything. He didn't send them with pause, he sent them with power. Stop looking for pause. You didn't come here to collect pause. You came to collect power. And they were first with him. And he ordained them. He ordained 12. That they will first be with him before he sent them forth to preach. And he said, when I sent you without pause. Lucky editing. And he gave them power over unclean spirit. Every one of us must understand that in followership, we must go for what is needed, not what is wanted. Don't follow for what you want. Follow for what you need. Don't forget, two men shared proximity. One contacted double portion. Another one contacted leprosy. One was called Giazi and another one called Elisha. I was ministering one time and I asked them a question. How many of you will give birth to a child and say the naming ceremony on the day of the naming that the child will be called Giazi? And nobody said not any, raised up their hand. And I said, be careful the legacy you leave behind so that posterity will not avoid you like cancer. Am I talking to somebody here? In Acts chapter 3 verse 6, I don't believe that Peter and uh, what's his name were lacking nothing, but they said, silver and gold have I not but such as I have. That man has been collecting silver and gold and he has continually remained at the gate. But the day he collected power, he followed them into the temple. You are still the way you are because you are going for what you want, not what you need. In this conference, go for what you need. Archbishop Benson, the who's out of blessed memory, a great bishop came to see him. And he brought out of his poise. And he said, I didn't come for this. I came for one make you you. And he gave it to him. Posterity has not recovered from it. Am I speaking here? Every one of us must understand. Being a student of this grace, I can tell you categorically. The father has gone all out. On that God. For that which he seeks. Hear me well. No generation can survive without a leader. 
No generation. When we speak of Elisha, we can't drop the matters of Elijah. When we talk about great men in scriptures, we can't talk about those who have, we cannot but talk about those who have mentored them. Our father, we keep talking of his encounter with the late archbishop. A man who has no story will soon make story out of you. Every glory is a proceed from a story. Any man that has no connection is a disaster. I'm still looking for who obviously mentored those who claim to mentor others. Elijah the Tishbite had no trace. <laughs> Let me not go there. But I came this morning to say to us, let us in followership go for what you need, not what you want. Go for it. I stand to be corrected, but statistics prove it, that majority of great men that lived, those who share closeness with them never contacted it. Never contacted it. You see a man who walked in power, who walked in the miraculous and the supernatural, his environment suddenly depend on paradigm shift. And they start telling the stories of what their father did and not manifest the same grace their father manifested. Elijah did 16, we heard, and Elisha did 32. Followership is a transfer of same relatively, not another grace. Years ago, when I found this, I began to ask myself, how did they miss it? And the Lord said to me, don't go for what you want. Go for what you need. Passionately. One day I staggered into scriptures that said, they were looking for someone in place of Elijah when he was gone. And they said there was one that poured water in the hand of Elijah. I said, okay. Okay. Over familiarity is the invitation to leprosy without struggle. If you think I'm lying, when you see Giazi, ask him. When you get to a point where you can boldly, boldly do some things without considering reverence it's a sign that you will soon die like one that never existed am i speaking to someone here few years ago dr kisley said we we're just joking over something and he said just imagine if this grace had not rubbed us on us what would children do with us ah We may not be there, but we are not there. Am I speaking here? Please, in a hurry, don't forget that in followership, in John chapter 10, verse 27, Jesus said, My sheep, I often say to people, John chapter 10, verse 27, He said, My sheep hear my voice, and the voice, and know them, and I know them, and then follow me. Hear me where? One of the challenges of our generation is that many of us don't hear the voice. We don't know the voice. For you to contact what a man carries, you must be ready to follow the man's instruction. And his instructions is in his voice. I often say to pastors, over time, I have proven it. Relatively, to the glory of God, People who are interested in your gold and silver and despise your instruction become rebellious over time. Anybody around you who will not practice, who will not listen to your instruction but always like collecting from you will soon become a rebel to you. They get to a point where they don't judge their success by the salary they have collected for 10 years. They want to judge their success by your cars. And say you have five cars. Why are they not having one? You are not his wife. We have seen drivers become pastors. And drivers become successful. Because why? Why they sat on the steering. They refused to be familiar. They took hold of instructions. To despise his words. Not to know the voice of your boss. Is to end up in frustration. Even in the midst of the anointing. My sheep. Hear my voice. I know them. 
So you can be around a man so close, but you don't hear his voice. When he said deep, Elisha said to name a deep seven times, Jordan River. Stop dipping where you like, deep where you were asked to deep. The miracle is not the river you choose, it's the river you were directed. Go back and count the instruction you were told seven times. You only went to deep six times and you are complaining. Why not try the last one and see if leprosy will not end? The voice of instruction. If you can't know the voice, obey the voice, the followership may not be profiting. Can I say this? We played football last year and I had a fractured leg. One of the SOP leader did it to me. <laughs> no, it's not one of the Tenebi. It's not for bad, but you know we'll be winning you every time. How can a tenant come and suddenly win a landlord? We've been winning you. Yeah, yeah. So I believe that year he decided to leave me with a legacy. I'm not too angry. And somehow it became a little bit disturbing because I'm not as young as some Nigeria footballers claim. Praise God. <laughs> and <laughs> it wasn't funny. I went to Dutchess Hospital, did everything. And then one of the days, I think during the Abuja crusade, I was not there. During Munich, I was not there. The father sent me a word and said, son, don't bother to come. Don't move about in Lagos. Stay at home. Rest the leg. Rest it. I said, okay, sir. I would have loved to be in Abuja. I would have loved to be in Munich, leaping. But I rested the leg. What is the orthopedic, the cordial physiotherapist? What did not happen? Resting the leg for a few days, my restoration came sharply. I've been in Lagos for a while. What I have seen in Lagos in the last three, four years, I've not seen it in many years of my being in Lagos. And he came to my house one many years ago in Antony, and he said, son, this is a beautiful place, wonderful. He said, but this is not the place. He said, I see a greater glory on the other side. When he was through talking, I packed my load. For years, I traveled to church because my prophecy relocated me. And that became the open door to my next phase. Church, I am not who I am before. I may not have gotten there, but I'm not where you think I used to be. And this thing came because... I heard the voice. When you are a, as a follower get to a point when the instructions of your mentor no longer count, you know that you are gone. His instructions may not make sense, but that's what makes destiny. Because we are here now. Instructions will come. It may not please you. You are used to Ethiopia River. They say Jordan. Go to Jordan. Someone needs to ask someone, sorry, what did Papa tell you in one-on-one? -on -one? Someone needs to ask someone, what did he tell you? Yes. You're knowing it precept upon precept, line upon yes, line. Sir. Because when, am I speaking here? Yes, sir. Stop dipping six times and complaining. In Jesus' name. If you're right and say, Lord, help me to follow where. Say it like you mean it. Say, Lord, help me to follow where. I refuse to end like Giazi. Papa speaking said, nothing lasts forever. Don't be carried away with what you have achieved. My brother, once upon a time, he's still in English language. The prodigal son got his portion. Got his portion. And went on a far country. He moved from his father. That's my problem with him. That he disconnected from his father. Whatever you have. Is not secured. When the covering has been lifted. 
That's why Moses said, angels will not follow. If you will not go with us, we go nowhere. Because the security of who you are today or tomorrow is directly connected to your covering. And they came back to him, having eaten from him before. And they said, Master, how come this one did not work? And he said, this kind goeth not out except by fasting and prayer. When you get to a point where you no longer have who to refer to, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. Recently, I had an issue. And I reached out to Papa on the matter. It wasn't funny. It was the first time in my life. And then he sent me a word. No wonder the Bible says he sent forth his word. And his word healed them. He says, son, generals these days are no longer determined by age. They are determined by the things they have been through successfully in life. He said, this is an exam. Face it and pass it. It will take you to your next level. And then he also said, don't forget that after this exam, more exams will come. But as you keep passing it, you're becoming a general per day per day. Every one of us, listen, even a pond stink because everything floats into it it does not flow into anybody praise the lord every one of us must know that the voice is a key in followership not just coming around there are people who are around you and they are very disobedient some are very rebellious that's why i tell anybody when you are close to grace do you have that equal obedience to the instructions of grace praise the lord let me say this quickly please observation observation not prognosing observation is a key as it were john chapter 5 verse 17 was it that jesus said my father walk it he tattoo i walk but jesus answered them my father walk it he tattoo i walk observation how did he know that his father walks because he observes his father church i may not be completely right but to understand i've seen it work for me i'm an observant follower observant when elisha listen to, let me say this to us i don't think there's no special class where mentors we just open up and start telling you things huh I don't know if Elisha attended any Bible uh, ministry with Elijah. He didn't. I don't know. But Elisha was an observant follower. He was watching his master take steps. When he was returning back and he met with the same situation that the master handled, he handled the situation because he was an observant follower. One of us must know that if we must duplicate same grace we must follow well observe people say you i i i that day i said to some of our young pastors who were behaving like me some me and i said to them i said don't learn decide i'm praying deliverance from <laughs> Am I speaking to someone here? Don't learn the one when me they pray freedom from. Learn the right one. What am I saying is, I've been around and I can tell you. I'm not blowing Papa's trumpet. I'm telling you by observation. We have learned obedience. We have learned humility. We have learned honor. 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 I've seen him not they say i've seen him thought it not wise of himself to equal himself he humbled himself even in a place where his fans imagine crowd just hear you and then the next thing you saw mama the next thing you saw a, big, uh, a daddy in the lord and then you watch your father left his fans to drop it as a honor for someone he values Taught it not wise. John the Baptist was enjoying praise everywhere. But when he saw Jesus, he said, that is he. And two of his disciples even left him. 
and follow you. Am I speaking to someone here? I came to say to somebody who cares to listen, be observant. If Papa was to be like some of us, nobody would have been able to assess him anymore. Daddy, I came in yesterday and I met one of the sons of the prophet from one of the nations. And he said to me, himself and his people, they've been around. And he said, Daddy took picture with every one of us, one by one. He was saying it with joy and fullness of excitement. You can't be a follower and you are building unnecessary followership. Hear me well. Anybody under you who can't point people to you is a risk. Yeah. We study Abraham blessings are mad. Abraham blessings. Abraham had what they call Abraham did not have obedience. He had prompt obedience. Before God finished talking, Abraham is obeying. Some of us, we weigh the instruction before we take decision. Abraham didn't wait. As God is speaking, Abraham is acting. That's number one. Number two, Abraham will not withhold anything from his God. But number three, which many of us downplay, he said, I know he will command his household after me. Anybody who follows you that can't command his house after you, re-look into him. I stand to be corrected. Thank God I'm under elders who will judge. Am I speaking here? But listen to me. Then when you have those who are trying at all, who command the sick after you and keep the way, cancel them. Stand on your feet. Lift your two hands and just worship him. Worship him. Just appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Lift your hands and appreciate him. 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 Appreciate him.